Hey there Poké fans, I'm BulbaTuber and welcome to my channel. I'm here with the best team video, this time for Pokemon Light Platinum. It is a ROM hack with two new regions and a heroic world championship at the end. You will see a lot of Pokemon with up to Gen 5 and there are also a whole lot of rivals and you also get a lot of gift Pokemon in this game. Overall this has been a great ROM hack over the years and I recommend you to try it. And let's get into today's video without further ado. According to me, the ideal choice for a starter would be Charizard. Because the first two gyms are bug and grass types, so Charizard would be really effective in providing a good head start. So the moveset that I have decided for Charizard is Flamethrower, Fly, Metal Claw and Slash. Flamethrower and Fly are for stab, Slash is for making use of its high attack and Metal Claw is for coverage against its only 4x weakness which is Rock. Charizard is a very good Pokemon overall and I think it deserves to be the best starter. Say hi to the next Pokemon on my team, Electivire. You get a free Elekid by climbing up the stairs of Professor's lab and on the upper floor you get a Pokeball which contains the Elekid. It evolves with level up in this game so there's no need to get an Electivizer. So Electivire's moveset would be Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Brick Break and Rock Climb. Thunderbolt is for Stab. Flamethrower is for coverage against grass and ice types. Rock Climb is for coverage against fire and ice types. And Brick Break is for coverage against rock, steel and ice types. So the next Pokemon in my team is a Dodo starter, Feraligator. You can talk to Professor Oak in Central City after the Marfeni Lake event and he'll let you choose a Dodo starter. So the perfect moveset for a Feraligator would be Ice Beam, Bite, Waterfall and Slash. Waterfall is for Stab, Slash is for making use of its attack stat, Bite is for coverage against Psychic type Pokemon and Ice Beam is for covering the Dragon type. I think Feraligator is the best pick among the three because you will get a better grass type option later in the game and there's no need for Meganium. You've already had a fire type so there's no need for Typhlosion so that only leaves Feraligator. The next Pokemon on my team is a bug and fighting type Heracross. You can get a Heracross by using Headbutt on trees. If you don't find one immediately, you just keep trying and you'll eventually encounter it. Heracross's moveset will be Earthquake, Takedown, Mega Horn, and Ice Smash. Ice Smash and Mega Horn are for stab. Takedown is for making use of its massive attack, and Earthquake is for covering fire type Pokemon. Heracross deserves to be on this team because it has made a name for itself to be so ridiculously strong and therefore has to be on my team. The next Pokemon on my team is the Hoenn Starter Sceptile. You can get a Hoenn Starter after talking to the professor slash guy in Inhor City. You don't need Torchic or Mudkip because you already have Pokemon of those types. So Sceptile's moveset is going to be Giga Drain, Dragon Claw, Leaf Blade and Slam. Dragon Claw is for coverage against Dragon types, Leaf Blade is for Stab and so is Giga Drain because it is useful for regaining HP in certain conditions and Slam is for utilizing its attack. The final Pokemon of our team is the big boy Snorlax. You have to encounter one if you want to continue your journey ahead of Inhor City. So Snorlax's moveset is Rest, Snore, Surf and Body Slam. So Rest is for regaining HP, uh, Snore is for attacking while sleeping, Body Slam is for Stab 
and surf is for coverage against ground and rock types. I think Snorlax is a perfect for a 6 Pokemon option because of its incredible bulk. I will see you in the next video. Until then, I'm out.